Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be how do you put a color sensor on your educator bot or Riley Rover type bot and you want to do it fast. Stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. Okay, so you have your educator bot, you have a simple bot you made, a Riley Rover bot. I'll leave links to all those videos on how to, to access the educator bot or the Riley Rover in the description below. Um, but you need a color sensor on it. Your teacher, like Mr. Hino, uh, says you're going to do a line following uh, activity. You're going to do the, the color sensor maze and you need to put your color sensor on. Uh, you're going to have an FLL competition and you need to have that on to, you know, read a line. And you want to get it done fast. This is the way you do it. So I'm going to show you today two ways to put your color sensor on in under 30 seconds. So check this out. Okay, guys, here we go. I have my educator bot here which needs to have these two white attachments in the front or this doesn't work. I have my color sensor here with my 10 inch cable, this three axle and these two black pieces here. So this is quick and easy. Let me just go ahead and do this right quick. All right, so I'm gonna grab, my students call this like the bicycle crank piece. I don't know, kind of looks like one, huh? We're gonna put that there. We're gonna put this three right through the middle. Oops, went too far, there we go. And this black piece is going to go like so. So it should end up looking like that. Let me twist this around here so you can see it. And then this part will just go right through the bottom here like so and we'll just plug this guy and he goes into three and there we go and then if you guys want to steal my motto on this one you can um but some, sometimes my students will tell me, Mr. You know, my robot's not reading the line very well if they're line following or something like that. And their color sensor is too low. So here is Mr. Hino's motto for the color sensor being too low. Yes, you may steal it. If you do not see the glow, it is way too low. So sometimes my students put their color sensor on so low, you can't see the red glow. And then they wonder why it doesn't work. So... If you can use that in your class, you can take my motto. If you can't see the red glow, it's way too low. So when we turn this on, you need to make sure you can see uh, the red glow. Obviously, if you're too high, it's not going to see it either. But there you go. There's the one for this uh, educator bot right there. Let's go to the one where we put it right here in the front. Okay, and here's the second way we're going to put this color sensor on. Let's say you don't have these white attachments here in the front, but you do have a picture frame in the front like this. So all you need, you'll need is your color sensor, two of these black pieces, your three axle, and two black connectors. And this is super fast. I can't believe how fast this is. So we're going to just take your color sensor, put this three right through the middle. Now here's where the magic happens. Um, we're going to put these two black pieces so that they're facing up like this. Because if we didn't do that, it would sit too high like this. And then all you do is put these two black connectors right there. So it looks like that. And then all you do is attach this onto the front of your picture frame right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and just plug this cable in. Would a 
have been probably smarter if I had plugged the cable in first. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And there you have it. So there's two different ways that you can put on your color sensor pretty quick. Um, it's just one of those things where you want to have the perfect spot for it. It's low enough and it, you know, just will work for you every single time. So there you go, guys. And again, remember Mr. Hino's motto. If you can't see the red glow, your color sensor is way too low. And maybe you can help me think of something for if it's too high. But anyway, there you guys go. Um, two ways to put a color sensor on your educator bot or the Riley Rover. It would be the same uh, basic uh, setup that you can put this on fairly easy. And hopefully that helps you. And um, if you're using this in the middle of a competition or something, yeah, we definitely want this thing to work. And good luck to you guys. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out.